Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! New Scenario Activation Condition Can you explain to me activation condition in Yu-Gi-Oh! Sure. In Yu-Gi-Oh! cards that have effects, this includes effect monsters, spells, and traps all have an activation condition. Let's give some examples of activation condition. We have the banned spell Pot of Greed that states draw two cards. The activation condition is drawing. So if a counter effect is activated that stops drawing, then you can't activate the activation condition of Pot of Greed. Since the effect requires drawing, but a counter effect exists that denies the drawing effect. This simple principle of Pot of Greed and how to stop it. This explanation of Yu-Gi-Oh! is the core tenet of Yu-Gi-Oh! itself and breaks down the game to its bare elements. We can sit here talk about all these terms like chain linking, chain blocking, etc. But there is something very important thing to note here. The core gameplay loop of Yu-Gi-Oh! are activation conditions and their interactions with the opponent. This statement right here summarizes everything about Yu-Gi-Oh! to its simplest form. It is easy to get lost in the different effects, rules terms, and other minute details about Yu-Gi-Oh! but fail to realize that the underlying principle for everything in this game all comes from activation condition. So are you saying that most interactions in Yu-Gi-Oh! with the opponent all revolve around activation condition? Yes. It is the constant law always in effect in Yu-Gi-Oh! No matter what new effects are created in the future, or any convoluted interactions that exist in any game that you listen to or hear in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. This is the one thing that never changes in Yu-Gi-Oh! Rules, effects, and erratas change constantly. But activation condition is eternal. That never changes. Activation condition, I would argue, is what makes Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! So if there ever comes a point in any argument or discussion or explanation in the community that you hear that does not involve activation condition, remember that what you are then hearing is not about Yu-Gi-Oh! We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.